Hey guys, Skippy here with you again uh, with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over heat maps. I'm sure you guys have heard of this concept and you're past day 7 and you're starting to get horrid attention. Uh, now basically guys, what you do in your area or your base or wherever you are at the moment attracts zombies. Uh, there's several things you can do. Uh, the first thing you can do is uh, use weapons. Uh, the SMG actually has the lowest amount of heat, so what the heat is, is not an actual temperature map. What it is, is how the game decides that you're attracting attention and zombies are going to come over and investigate. And if you get a high enough heat level, you'll get a screamer. And what screamers do every 20 seconds is they scream uh, and they call in a horde. And every 20 seconds that they scream, every time you let them scream, uh, that horde will get harder and they'll get larger. Uh, so you definitely, if you don't want the attention, you want to dispatch of that screamer right away uh, usually with one of these weapons but that uh, can also backfire on you as well too by attracting more attention uh, so you got your SMG which does the lowest amount and then you got your other weapons like your pistols your shotguns your sniper rifles hunting rifle magnum assault rifle and blunder uh, blunder bus and uh, yeah so those attract um, a really low amount of attention you have to pretty much be firing your weapon off constantly to really get a lot of attention especially from something like a screamer uh, there's other things too uh, like the chainsaw and auger that do have a low amount uh, but you use them so quickly that they gather more attention than a gun would uh, I don't know if you uh, I don't know how to explain that any better like let's say you fire your gun off uh, once every second uh, the auger goes off 20 times a second. So basically if you're sitting there hitting stone with it, it's like rapid firing a gun like crazy. Uh, so they do attract more attention. Uh, you got your items that attract the most attention per use. These are all per use things. So let's say, let's say you shot your gun 10 times. Uh, the heat level will actually come down after a while. Uh, so these only attract attention per use. Uh, so, uh, you got your other things, uh, per use items that attract a buttload of attention and actually attract the most. Um, it's your explosives, like your rocket launchers, uh, your, your landmines, your TNT, and there's also a pipe bomb as well too, I apparently forgot to put that in the chest. Uh, but those will attract a lot of attention per use. Uh, now, you got the things also like your fireplaces and your forges, uh, your cement mixers and your crafting tables. Uh, now, out of all the four items, uh, your cement mixer and your crafting tables have the lowest amount of attention. They don't make too much noise, uh, but they do, and they will attract zombies and screamers as well. Uh, now, uh, these are only basically slightly above the guns and heat level. Um, so when you use them, it does attract a lot of attention because it's working a lot. It's a constant, it's a constant use, uh, so it's going to rack up the heat level a lot quicker than any, any gun or explosive will. And then you got your uh, things such as your forges and your fireplaces. These have a high heat level and they go off quite, uh, quite often. They, they farm quite a bit. Uh, so this is a good way to attract attention. If you want to light up a whole ton of fireplaces or a whole ton of forges, uh, you'll get a lot of attention. And I do this purposely. When I have an end game base, I actually keep forges running or fireplaces running all the time uh, just so I get the zombie and screamer hard so that I can actually loot. Uh, now, uh, also to explain too on how the heat map itself works, currently on console, uh, there is no way to tell where the, uh, where the chunks are and what a chunk is, is a 16 by 16 area. So this, this pad here that we're standing on right now is a 16 by 16 and anything you do within this chunk attracts heat to this chunk right here. Uh, but uh, if you guys think you can go over one more chunk and do something in that area and not worry about the heat, it doesn't quite work that way. The, the heat actually overflows into the areas uh, beside the chunk. So on that side, on that side, on that side, and on that side. Uh, so if you do want to make a base and uh, you want to have a lot of forges running but you don't want the screamer attention, I would say go about seven, eight, nine chunks away from your base. Um, create an open area because they will destroy a building in order to go see what the noise is about. Uh, just create an open area like this and walk away from it. Uh, it will attract the, the attention but it won't attract the attention to your main base. Or you can do it the other way around and attract the attention to your main base by keeping these running. Uh, so guys, I really hope that helped uh, figure out the, the heat map concept to you. I uh, had to record this a few times because I tried to break it down into the easiest way of explaining it. Uh, if it did help, guys, remember to throw that like on the video if you have any 
further questions, drop them down in the comments. And as always, guys, stay surviving, stay classy, and peace. Target. Target.